Hello, a bit of a quick one today. We're looking at a Pioneer DJM 900 Nexus that started making strange noises in the middle of a DJ set. Now it won't turn on properly at all, instead the screen goes weird and the LFO form light starts blinking in a repeating pattern of three. These blinks operate much like the power on self test beeps on a PC in that the number of blinks tells us where the problem lies. Looking in the service manual, three blinks indicates a problem with the DSP and suggests checking its power, reset and clock signals. However, before breaking out the multimeter and scope, I thought I'd first just visually inspect the area around the DSP to see if there was anything obvious. Now, it looks like a small amount of residue from a liquid spill is covering some components near the DSP, specifically IC704. Checking the service manual again, this IC is an AND gate, which buffers the 24 MHz clock signal going into the DSP. If the traces around this IC were corroded, that could affect the clock signal, which would certainly stop the DSP from starting up. The clock signal goes through this 0 ohm link into a via, which pops up over here and goes into the DSP through another 0 ohm link. Measuring between the two links shows no continuity, but measuring between the link near the DSP and the via hole beside IC704 does. This means that the break must be between the link and the via hole near the clock buffer. We of course confirm this using the meter. I didn't get footage of this, but I ended up removing the 0 ohm link entirely and soldering a wire between the IC and the via hole. Then it's just a case of confirming we have continuity and it's time to test it. As you can see, the unit is powering up perfectly now. After testing all the inputs, controls and outputs and running it for a couple of hours, it's still working great, so it can go back to the customer.